And it's not the first time you've worked with Paul, is it, on The Seasoning House? Although before you've worked with him, he was a prosthetics and special effects makeup artist. What's it like working with him as a director? It's fantastic. I mean, I, I've known for a long time this is what he's meant to do. Um, he is incredibly focused and incredibly... Um, he researches things like nobody I've ever met. He really knows what he's talking about. Um, and he has a very sort of um, instinctive way of handling very delicate subjects, I think, in a very sensitive way. Well, you mentioned there about research. Was that something that you were able to take advantage of, kind of his lots of knowledge that he had about the roles and the parts? Is he very specific in how you wanted to play it? I think it's really important when you're dealing with a subject like this that you really are uh, researched into what you're doing because you have a, a responsibility to portray it truthfully, you know. Um, so I think everybody undertook a lot of research. And it was very, very important to Paul that everybody really knew what they were talking about and what, you know, what we were, the story that we were trying to tell. For, for people to see, you know. It's a very intense film, isn't it? We can say that. I mean, there's not only the kind of emotional side, but the physical side of it as well. And there's all the claustrophobia. I mean, how did you deal with like with that as an actress? Yeah. Well, um, like any like any film, really, you throw yourself into it. It's sometimes not very pleasant, but you know what you're getting yourself into. You choose to do it, and a lot of actors, I think, enjoy it. You know, it's 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 um, a way of understanding what other people go through in life. Now, I know you've done like, a number of kind of sci-fi and kind of horror movies, like uh, Music Chronicle course and also Hellboy 2 and is that something you really enjoy doing? Yeah I do I, I never had a plan that that was what I wanted to do but it seems to have sort of happened that way and I'm very happy with it um, it's always very interesting it's always quite exciting and never quite know what's around the corner um, but it's fun it's a good form of escapism doing things that you would never normally do in real life. And did you have any kind of stunts that you had to do because I know on Hellboy 2 you had lots of things that you had to do didn't you but did you have anything for the seasoning house that you kind of had to get a bit at a physical form? Yeah, I had a very cool fight scene actually with my husband, but I'm not sure how much of it made the final cut. But uh, I love all that. I love getting really into that kind of thing. I'm always keep. I do quite often make the mistake though of saying, "Yes, yes, I'll do my own stunts," and then end up really hurting myself. So I'm trying to get a little bit better at choosing exactly what I do do. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to get involved in it. Any bumps and bruises and injuries in this film? Uh, uh, always. I just. I don't know. I think I threw myself in it slightly too much and end up I always I seem to bruise quite easily I think I quite like it though it's like war wounds you know? feel like you're doing something I feel like you did a hard day as well yeah. don't you well, it's acting but. what's next for you now Anna uh, I'm doing a film called Soulmates with Ian Mackin um, and that's uh, about a woman's um, journey through grief uh, she's lost her husband and she meets a spirit in a house who she sort of befriends but it also turns a little dangerous um, so sort of against a similar genre, um, but yeah, it's exciting.